So are the lofts of these modern day irons getting too strong? We're going to talk a little bit about that in this video. We're also going to review the new Cobra LTDX iron. And later in the video, we're going to put it up against my own Wilson Staff Blade iron, which is a five iron. So two of the same loft, seven iron against the five iron, same loft. We're going to do a little comparison on ball speed. Okay, so as I was say, we're going to take a look at the new Cobra, the LTDX. So obviously, the brand new range of LTDs. We've seen the drivers, some really good sort of ball speeds. And we're going to take a look at the irons in this particular video. So very much a game improvement iron maximum forgiveness huge ball speeds is what cobra are stating and this i reckon is going to be a really long hitting iron because the loss of these are ridiculous <laughs> okay so 7i now is 26.5 degrees of loft that's right 26 and a half degrees that's probably the strongest 7i loft i've ever ever seen how is that going to compare in terms of launching that golf ball? Is it going to be a struggle? What's going to happen to the spin? We're going to take a look in that video. And as I mentioned, stay tuned to the end because I'm going to compare it against my five iron in my bladed set of Wilson uh, staff model irons, which again, that loft in the i5 iron is 26 degrees. So very, very similar on that loft. We're going to take a little comparison, see what ball speed we can get maybe out of that technology in relation to a pure blade. So as always, first impressions down by that golf ball with the Cobra iron and it's, it's a nice Nice looking iron. It's obviously big, you know, we've got a, a, a thickish top line there. We've got quite a lot of toe polish section, I would sort of say. So it's quite long blade length from, to, sorry, from heel to out to that toe. We've got some offset as we'd expect to sort of see, but quite a nice sort of satin finish on there with the groove area being a little bit more of a lighter satin finish. It looks, looks tidy for a, for a game improvement iron behind the ball. It's a nice shape. Okay, and that's not a bad opening shot touch in that toe side but flown very straight so we're probably going to expect some pretty quick speeds I would say from this with that loft being where it is so you see that wasn't a perfect strike just short of 129 spin at four and a half thousand carrying out 196 with a 79 is it a 79 that's the question you'll post your comments down below okay so let's talk a little bit of tech in the Cobra iron so we've got this PWR core technology which we've seen in the driver and we also are seeing in the iron so that's a, a steel bar that is pos positioned in the back of the club head and it's really centralizing sensor a CG location right behind that hitting area to maximize your ball speed and that bar is sort of suspended in a polymer insert so that's trying to dampen a little bit of sound and try and create a little bit of feel for this iron Oh, that's a great strike and that's absolutely flown quite a nice ball flight that's gone miles 132 ball speed 205 yard carry ridiculous but as we know you know that loft is 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 ridiculously strong and i want to comment to you or i'm going to ask you the question you know is, is, are they just getting a bit daft now on these ball speeds? I mean, granted, I've got some club head speed. I'm 90 mile an hour my uh, seven iron. So, you know, I've got the luxury of some speed to get that ball there. But imagine a golfer maybe who hasn't got that speed. Is that loft going to really sacrifice? I'm looking at my launch angle, 16 degrees. That's quite low for me for a seven iron. Again, we're losing that loft out. But at the end of the day, it's peaking out 170 yards. But I've got that 131 ball speed, which is going to get me to that peak height. Pull that a fraction. Again, it's a really high ball flight on that. Slightly in the toe, it wasn't a perfect connection, but do you know what? It feels very, very stable. So Cobra have got a new cup face design on the club face and it's 23% it's thinner in larger areas of the face. So again, this is, this is all about sort of trying to increase that ball speed, also increase the launch of the golf club. So again, we've got a very strong loft, but they're always talking about trying to launch this ball higher. We can then see a CNC milled club face. So what obviously Cobra trying to do is maximize sort of spin in terms of getting that ultimate control. So when maybe a little bit of that stopping power coming into the greens. Ooh, right, that's testing it a little bit. That's a touch off the bottom of the club face there, just peeling a fraction up the right. But again, that ball speed is very good from that low strike. I think it's a decent looking eye. You know, look at it from the back, we've got a little bit of that lattice sort of effect in there with so there is some nuts and crannies in there so if you're a very particular of dirt and debris getting into the back of your cavities you might not like this one too much you can see how stuff can get sort of wedged in there you might have to start blowing this out with a pre uh, air, air pressure uh, hose or something like that to try and keep that clean but sole is pretty wide in the in this section of it we've got that polished back section which just chamfers off a little bit so it's the sole probably isn't as wide as what it actually looks like just with that more chamfering at the back edge 
wow, that is absolutely flown off. And do you know what? It feels pretty good, that. That's a fast ball speed there, 130. Just should have 133. Carry 250, but look at that spin. Just dropped off a bit of spin there. That's where obviously that extra little bit of distance is coming. That's probably the only worry I would have with an iron like this. If you just get that little bit hot, low spinner, it can go another 10 yards further, can't it? And do you want that to happen when you're stood there with a number into a green or into a flag? You know, do you want that extra 10 yards at that specific time? No, with a drive, you're probably gonna go, yeah, I'll have that, no problems at all. But with the iron into a green, you probably don't want it. That's my only concern sometimes with these hotter irons. So we've got, as you can see on the sole of the club, we've got that screw in that toe section, a little bit more mass in the heel as well. So that mass getting spread out into the perimeters of the golf club increasing that MOI, that's a big talking point again from Cobra, high MOI, ultimate forgiveness. And then when we look at the spec available, we've got a four iron through to pitching wedge, gap wedge and sandwich. Now take a note of that four iron, it's 18.5 degrees of loft, that's like many sort of two irons out on the market. So again, I would be questioning maybe if you haven't got a lot of speed, would you want to be putting that four iron in the bag, even even that sort of five iron, it's 20.5 degrees. You might be leaving those out, replacing those with maybe hybrids. Okay, so what I want to do now is just test it up against my own five iron so obviously 26.5 degrees of loft is ridiculously strong my five iron is 26 degrees in my wilson staff model blade iron now i'm going from a pure blade there's no hollow there's no real sort of tech really involved in a blade iron with a cobra iron or many other brands on the market i'm not just a single out cobra here, but many other brands on the market with loads of tech you know increasing ball speed forgiveness blah 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 so I want to put these together and I'm trying to keep this as equal as I can. So obviously I'm half a degree difference of loft. I've measured these two. I am half a degree difference. I've put a, an inch longer shaft in the seven iron of the Cobra to get it to the same length as my five iron, which it pretty much is there. So the lengths are the same. The shaft weights are pretty identical. The lofts are pretty identical. Techy head against a pure blade. Let's see what happens. So we're going to hit a batch of shots with the Cobra iron. I'm not going to show you all the ball flights, but obviously we're going to look at the numbers after. Okay, so there's five shots hit with the, the Cobra LTDX iron. Very sort of similar as maybe numbers to what we've just seen there, which we'll look at a little bit more detail, but let's switch over into my Wilson 5 iron. Okay, so back in the old trusty Wilsons, which obviously I absolutely love, and it's a completely different look. When I've just been hitting a batch of shots with the Cobra now, and, I, and, and now I look at this, it's like a butter knife in comparison. So obviously very, very different look, very much more compact in the head, very thin top line, little offset, if anything at all. And so, <laughs> such a different feel and sound straight away. Now, obviously, we've got half a degree of loft between these two uh, irons, with mine being a, a fraction stronger, 26 degrees. So there was a, a, a slight difference here, but obviously a very different in terms of the head and the materials used and, you know, CG placements and all those sort of things. Oh, it wasn't perfect strike, but again, the flight's there. So definitely a lower ball flight straight away. That's the big thing to sort of look at or take note. Again, we'll look at detail, numbers in a little bit more detail, but definitely a lower on that ball flight. That wasn't, a, again, it wasn't a perfect strike. And that's what you're gonna get with these uh, sort of blade irons. You know, you get that real instant feedback where maybe if hit out with the Cobra, might not have felt that as much. It still probably would have gone as far. That's a better strike. That's probably the best strike out of the lot there. So you probably just see that ball speed there now, just increase a little bit. So better strike, 204 on that carry. Again, not a bad strike there to finish up on. Okay, right, so there's some hit with the, with the Wilson 5 iron against the Cobra 7 iron. Two very similar loss. Let's go and check a few numbers out. Okay, so let's look at the dispersion rings to start off with. So we're going to mainly focus a little bit on this one of the orange and the blue. The orange being the um, the Cobra 7 iron with that inch longer shaft to match up the similar length to my 5 iron. And then the blue is my uh, 5 iron hit. So you can see dispersion ring much tighter with mine in comparison to the Cobra in terms of that left to right dispersion. And then when we look at the numbers again, we'll focus a little bit on the top two. So we've got the 7 iron there, which is the Cobra and then the Wilson and the top. So you can see club head speed a little bit quicker with mine in comparison. So it was, it's a, ever so slightly longer, but literally not a lot, but move that a little bit more uh, freely there, probably just a bit more comfortable with it being my sort of iron. 
You see ball speed 131 against 132.4. So obviously I've moved it quicker, ball speed a little bit slower. The slight little miss hits you, there's 129s, there we were and I didn't get it perfect. And obviously I'm gonna drop off a little bit more, maybe because of the tech in the head, that the, the, the less of the MOI in the blade are in comparison to that, less of the tech, you know, the steel bar behind, you know, the flex of the face, the, the, the hollow, you know, not so much the hollow, but the, the, um, the thinner face there, the, the cut face technology. We're not having all those things in the bladed iron, are we? So maybe that's just giving me that little bit of edge there in terms of that ball speed. See the spin, you see very, very similar, a little bit more with mine. 200. So front to back, even though there's a miss hits, you see I'm, I'm 194 to again against 204. So I'm 10 yards difference from my worst to probably my best strike. In terms of the Cobra there, you can see 200 up to 208. So a little bit tighter in terms of that front to back on those slight misses maybe with the Cobra in compar comparison to mine. Land angle 45, a little bit more land angle there. So it's actually launched a little bit higher with the Cobra. It's got a little bit more of that land angle. It's definitely a higher peak of flight at 111 against my 100. Okay, so maybe a little bit of an interesting test and something I just wanted to do there. And a lot of you guys ask me for that sort of test as well. You know, it's not a 7i mic, it's a, it's a 5i. It's a loft of a 5i. Obviously, tons of forgiveness there. Higher MOI, just going to help me on those little miss hits. So if your type of golfer is going to move your strike around a little bit, obviously the benefits of that more tech, you know, Know that higher MOI, the cavity back iron is obviously going to help you out in those occasions. But if you want pure looks, pure feel, the blade iron is absolutely superb. I think nothing really will build, build, beat that in terms of that feel off that club face. Post your comments down below, let me know your thoughts. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have, do share it around, hit the like button and hopefully we'll catch you all very soon.